What is your problem? Is a question I asked you yesterday and you answered. <laughs> JD Glunt says I consistently wake up every day thinking it's a different day. I've never woken up on a Tuesday and was like, yeah, today's a Tuesday. Well, JD, you're in luck because I have quite the little life hack that may help you with your problem. <laughs> One second. Pretty easy fix if you ask me. You're never gonna forget what day it is. You will go broke, but <laughs> you will know what day you're gone broke, which in this case, it's a Tuesday. Boom, life hack, what's next? Sarah Johnson says she's lived in her house for two years and she still cuts corners too sharp, slams into walls and such. Oh yeah, no, that happens to me all the time. Check this out. Oh. It mainly has to do with the, the sticky notes in my peripherals. Yeah, this thing's way too close to my trajectory to my chair. So we're gonna have to do something about it. Okay, got you a life hack. Hold on. Yeah, so right here. And that's what we're looking for. See? Oh no. Okay, now my problem is I'm bumping into things because I'm not bumping into things earlier. I got my own little life hack to figure out. Hold on, I got an idea. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Ooh. See? And now I stopped in enough time to come film. Problem solved. Sarah from YouTube, I'm glad I could help. There's just one example, okay now, Sarah? If you're bumping into walls or doors, you just cut out the shape of the body part that keeps bumping, and boom, you're walking through doors and walls, and you have superpowers now. Okay, Madden Klinger from YouTube. Let's work on being a little less Klinger. Madden says, whenever I add a type of lunch meat to my sandwich, whether it's turkey or ham, the meat juices flow out of it. How do I stop the meat juices? Don't worry, I got the life hack just for you, okay? It's called bread fingers, hear me out. Now know what you're thinking, that's a lot of bologna, okay? And I agree, I shouldn't have bought two. Madden, don't worry, I have a couple solutions for your deli dilemma. Let's make a normal sandwich, okay? So throw that heel away. Bread, bologna, cheese, bread. We all know it, but guess what? Now you're soaking wet with bologna tears, okay? How do we prevent that? Bread fingers. It just makes sense, okay? It does cost more sense because you're using twice the amount of bread. I have yet another solution. You're in luck. I got a question for you. Who taught you how to make your sandwiches? Your cousin, Victoria? It's a weird way of spelling it. I wouldn't trust a word she says. Have you ever thought about maybe you're making sandwiches all wrong? Cheese, meat, bread, meat. Meat matter. The bread in the middle sucks up the meat juice. You're welcome. I've also patented bread knees. You eat your sandwich, the bologna cries on your hands, boom, you wipe it off on your bread knees. Guess what happens when you're done with your sandwich? Another sandwich. Who did that? <laughs> bologna fingers, why didn't I think of that? Thank you, Madden, from YouTube for commenting. That should stop the flow of meat tears. Kuno Chill from YouTube says, when you're moving and packed everything you needed, and then you have to dig through the boxes to find the stuff such as a toaster. Been there, done that, packed that, lost the toaster, had to buy a new one. Kuno Chill, this one may seem like a no-brainer. Hypothetically, let's say you're packing, congratulations. Let's also say you're moving and you need to put stuff in boxes. You can't just write everything that's in the box on the box, okay, that's dumb. My solution is to just tape everything to the outside of the box, that way you can visually see what you're trying to pack. Works for everything from bologna, pens, toasters, and sharp knives. I don't wanna have to shake a box to figure out where my knives are, that's dangerous, okay? I wanna instantly pick up a box and say, I'm bleeding, that must be my knife box. That's just one quick solution, okay? And that's actually all the solutions I have, so deal with it. Sometimes you gotta think outside of the box and you gotta pack outside of the box. It does spoil birthday gifts though. Kuno Chill on YouTube, glad I could help. Sydney Goodwin on YouTube, no matter how long I've had my fridge, I've always tried to open it on the wrong side. Yeah, I get that and I got a pretty cool life hack for you. That was a fridge pun. What are these? You want me to grab them or do you want me to grab the other side? Okay, it's unclear. That's why I open it from the top, okay? So no matter which way you open your freezer door, it's gonna open, okay? Check this out. Or, <laughs> there is no or, it, this is it. Do this, good as new. Oh, look at that. I've designed it to where now you can open both doors at the same time. And you can take that life hack to the bank, okay? And then ask for a loan, because you're gonna lose a lot of money on electricity. Randy Hedden on Facebook says, I have a pool, but the water feels like warm pee. Randy, I have the life hack just for poo. Pee, you, for you, for your pool. The warm pee. Stop peeing in your own pool. Step one, my other suggestion is a little more complex. Can belly. My bread knees are soggy. Randy says I have a pool with some floaties, but the water feels like warm pee. Okay, I think those floaties are poop. Now that we've established that there's fecal matter in your pee-pee pool, I think we can go ahead and fix this, okay? The water feels like warm pee. Well, that is the temperature it comes out at, okay? There's nothing I or you and me, I, he, she, him, could do about it. However, I have a life hack that will 100% work. Hear me out and also watch. Step one, turn on your air conditioner. Step two, Turn on one of your multiple fans. Step three, blow that cold air out this room. 
It's pretty simple from here. You're just gonna blow that air to here. This fan's gonna blow it over there. Then you're gonna blow that air over to here. Then you're gonna blow the air outside. Then you're just gonna blow this air into that fan, and that fan is gonna blow air into this window. And you're gonna take the air from that fan that's blown into this window. It's gonna be blown into this fan, and then this fan's gonna blow that cold air into your pool. Boom, you just created an air-conditioned pool for little to much money. You can thank me later when you get the electric bill. Lisa Lee on Facebook says, no matter how full or not full my cup of coffee is, I always seem to leave a trail of coffee drips behind me as I walk. Lisa, I'm just gonna hit you with a quick fix. Okay, check this out. Look at that. Before, after. Before, after. Before, and that's how I filled the pool earlier. <laughs> now I know they don't put it on, on actual cups, but if you tilt it directly to Jesus, imagine you're giving Jesus a drink, okay? Think of that anytime you're drinking your coffee. Say, you first, Lord. Your bottle's upright, you don't spill any. He don't take none, he ain't drinking coffee. Glad I could help, Lisa, I'll invoice you. Somewhere else on YouTube says, water drips from the vent in my grandma's bathroom and it ends up dripping on me every single time I go in there. One easy solution could be to tarp off your entire bathroom and then boom. Hand grandma this knife box and inherit the house, fix the leak. There's, I mean, there's other ways to fix it. To be honest, you weren't really specific. Hey, water drips from the vent in grandma's bathroom, ends up dripping on me every time. Hey, grandpa's, check, where's grandpa? You're welcome, I just found your long lost grandpa. Or you could just slip your 10 foot inflatable pool in there, boom. Now you got a pool full of mysterious liquid. You know what, come to think of it, Randy, is your is your pool in your bathroom? Cause I think you're swimming in your toilet. I think you're trying to swim in your toilet and that is definitely not a pool. Hey, don't squeeze those floaties. I better flush this before I get infected. Inessa Rafferty from YouTube says, my neighbor has a peacock and a donkey that have screaming matches that wakes us up at 5 a.m. Well, if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, if you can't, if you can't beat them, join them. If you can't join them, try to beat them again, okay? Might I suggest a knife box? Oh, a note. Thank you. It, what kind of encrypted message is this? Tuesday. Anessa, Anissa, whatever your address is, send it to me and I'll uh, I'll send you one of these one-of-a-kind knife boxes. I sell them on my merch store at imbrandandferris.com, but I'll send you one for free. Anissa Rafferty, you, you got in twice somehow. I can't make toast without being scared by the toaster. I mean, full-on scream sometimes. I get it. See, I knew exactly where the toaster was. I mean, <laughs> oh, I've already figured this one out. Well, no wonder you're scared, it could cause a house fire. Put a rubber band, boom, life hack. <laughs> it does still scare you. Okay. <laughs> I'm a big fan of your work. I have a better idea. Okay, this way we don't freak out, you and me both. <laughs> that way at least you're even. Why are you looking at me like that knife box? Moonatik on YouTube says that fake fall thing that you do when you're trying to sleep and you accidentally bite your hand when concentrating on reading and writing. Okay, two different things here. Yeah, the old fake falling while you're asleep thing, I can I can fix that. The the biting your hand thing, that's a you you on you problem and you should see yourself out. Have you considered biting on other things? Like pens? Whenever you go to doze off to go to sleepy sleep nighttime. I call it the swinging arm from the ceiling hit you in the face wake up call. Megan Jost on YouTube says when you look everywhere in your house for something then you realize you're holding or wearing it. Boy, if I had a nickel every time that happened, I, I would tape the nickels to me so I didn't lose them as much. I think I got something for you, Megan. It's a sandwich. You want it? Now I've done this a thousand times and I think it's a great idea, okay? If you're packing but you don't have boxes, you're the box. I guarantee you'll never lose anything ever again, okay? Mainly because you can feel each and everything jab into your body. Where is that ceramic mold of my feet? Hmm, jab it into my pelvis. Sure, it cuts off the blood flow to your brain. But you, when, have you, um, could you, um, you want to, uh, you, these are my toes. You don't even have to pay for an OnlyFans to see them. Just take a picture, it lasts longer, unless you're frivolous with your pictures, of course. Mm-hmm. Ashley Page May on Facebook says, my pants and pockets are just at the right height to grab door handles and drawers and basically get thrown back and whiplash by pockets getting stuck on handles. I relate, okay? Not to you. I don't think we're, are we cousins? Mm, no. Huh? Why didn't you tell me my drawers were open? <laughs> Very good to see you. I think this one's a little bit obvious. Just cut out the pocket that the drawer keeps stealing and boom, give it to the drawer since that's what he wanted in the first place. Gave the drawer what he wanted, now he doesn't want anything, see? Oh, this is unheard of! Veronica Rinquin Butler on Facebook says, my 17 year old son has the job of unloading the dishwasher 
When he puts the spatulas back in, he puts them in upside down so you can't pull out the door, they get stuck. Easy fix, Veronica. Just take them out. The 17 year old, you sharpen that stick, you know how it pokes. Let's say you don't wanna kick the bird out of the nest. Maybe your son doesn't realize that spatulas actually have this cool little feature. Okay, they break pretty easily. See, the problem with spatulas is you put them in and then boom, it catches on the drawer. What you're gonna wanna do, Veronica, is go ahead and flip that bad boy over. Give him the spanking of a lifetime. Or you can flip the spatula head and just go ahead and tape that up. You also have a pretty limp spatula. Cassidy Taylor Fortin on YouTube says, I have a specific problem with not being able to reach the top shelf even though I'm the tallest woman in my family. Five, three and a half. <laughs> I too am the tallest woman in my house. Pretty easy life hack. You remember this? <laughs> yes. You are on the first shelf of my cabinet. This is what I do. I learned this in Texas. Never been to Texas. I'm pretty good at this. You're gonna have to practice though. All you have to do is toss and then, and that's how you get things down from the top shelf. Hey, what's your problem? Just comment down below. You might be in the next video.